Okay, I love. I that. love this That's chapter. The first, the first I sentence love this chapter. Chapter nine, the incredible nothing. So, I'll let, since you love it so much, I'll let you start. <laughs> what do you want? How do you All want right. to start this? Yeah. So, one of the most easy ways to look at this is mm -hmm. that the character, the label, the name, mm -hmm. it is overly focused on everything that has form, everything that has shape, everything that you can like touch and feel. And because of that, it is not concerned with the, who the subject is. Mm -hmm. So, know. so I'm going to focus on the differences this is what has been called the 10,000 things. I'm going to focus on the 10,000 things and I'm not going to focus on the one behind everything. Right. Which is interesting. Right. And so because the one behind everything, AKA I, it's not a thing. And that's what no thing is. Yes. It's not a thing. It's no thing. It's nothing. Yes. I isn't a thing. Yes. I is some crazy formless mystery called consciousness or God or whatever you want to say. I love it, man. You killed that. That now we have the answer to what is I? That's it. It's not a thing. It's this, what do you say? Crazy, formless, cosmic, <laughs> you know, mystery. Like, and, but the greatest thing about it is that I feel it. Yeah. I don't have to think about it. If I try to think about it, who, I don't even know where, what, where my mind will go, but I feel it and that is enough. I feel that I am I. I feel that I'm this formless mystery interpreting reality, gaining experiences, applying it to my shell, living life, feeling the roller coaster, eating the steak. But, but I itself, I don't even know if you can describe it. Maybe this is what they talk about when you say the only way to describe it is in negation. To talk yes. about what it's not. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Get there. <laughs> oh, it's so good. But yep. you know yep. what is I? Like you said, it's like many things we can say it is, but definitely nothing would be one of the best things because the word nothing to me means nothing. There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing that can describe it. Yes. The Tao that can be named is not the eternal Tao. Mm. So whatever word you use to try and describe it isn't going to be fully it. It's going to limit it in yes. some way. And it's limitless. Right. And it'll box it, it in. It'll box it in somehow. Yeah. And I also love what you're saying earlier, negation mm -hmm. being one of the best ways to talk about it. Mm -hmm. What are you, quote, negating besides the label? Mm. The right. biggest thing for you to negate is your own association wow. with the label yeah so if you can what i've been calling like if you can just put a freaking crowbar a little bit of a yeah. crowbar like just a little room room into the tightness of your association with your label mm -hmm. and if you can just wiggle it a little bit wiggle wiggle relax relax and as you do that kind of like the chinese finger trap the Chinese finger trap. As you relax, you can actually investigate more and more and more. Yeah. And that's where realization can dawn. That's really where um, these next levels can become embodied because we're negating our I'm obsessed on 10,000 things. I'm obsessed on differentiation. I'm obsessed with separate costumes. Mm -hmm. And now I'm looking, instead of at my label, I'm looking at what underlies everything. What's at the source? What's at the source? Yeah. And is what's at the source the same for everything? And, yes. so, that, and so that's I... And that's the power of negation to go all the way. Notch, 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 notch. Ah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. 
and to that's, nothing. And that's how the universe knows itself by that formless mystery, that nothing, that consciousness, that I, God. The universe knows itself by that formless mystery. Yes. And that formless mystery is, quote, identity less and identity full. Mm -hmm. So it has absolutely no identity. But yet. And yet it's full, full of, of en identity. endless identities. Endless, infinite identity and no identity at and, the same time. And to me, I just find that profound. Not the realization, but the ability. Yes, the ability. Yes. The ability to, 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 to have it be that way. It's just like how, again, this must be a powerful genius-like entity that's creating such a massive contradiction and it works. Like I, I'm actually, my mind is being blown as we're doing this because I'm really thinking about that. Likewise. It's pretty crazy, man. When you just think about it. But, yeah. <clears throat> and this is, as we share with you guys this course, what we feel is we feel a, a new level ourselves of being able to share mm -hmm. what, is you could say like one of the most powerful ways to to know yourself yeah um yeah and so we're learning a lot through this process and um and we're just we're really grateful because this sort of uh like book plus course structure plus short films this type of like approach to it if you've really made it this far this type of approach to it um it can shift with greater permanence. Mm, perfectly said. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's chapter, chapter nine. nine. <laughs>